Hi guys, welcome back to the Coal Factory, it's Raquel. Today's video is a comparison video and I'll be talking about two styling custards. They are both South African brands, both are not Curly Girl approved, but yeah, let's get into this video on me sharing my thoughts between two local products. What am I talking about? This custard is from the Moisture Factory and it's their Curl Custard Curl Forming Moisture Retention anti-breakage formula and the other custard I'll be talking about is from Pure Royal. It's their Shea Butter and Coconut Natural Hair Defining Curl Custard. But before I share my thoughts and the results of these two custards, please subscribe to my YouTube channel guys and also follow me on Instagram and Facebook as well. And guys, these are the results. Um, I did the application off camera because I do have videos using both of these products. So you can go to my channel and just check out, you know, my thoughts and full videos using these two products. So on the right hand side of my hair, I went in with the Moisture Factory Curl Custard. And on the left hand side of my hair, I went in with the Pure Royal Defining Curl Custard. Now... I don't care for custards, but these two, I really, really like. Um, some of the differences between the two is application. Major, major difference for me when it comes to the application of these products. The Moisture Factory has a much better slip. Um, I did shingle my hair when it came to the styling method on both sides. Back to the Moisture Factory, it's like creaming color. And oh, it's it's a lot more liquidy. Um, it's gonna spill out a lot more liquidy. There was a nice amount of slips so when I was shingling my hair. It was a lot easier. I enjoyed the application. It has a bit of a minty smell. Both of them don't really smell amazing, but you know it's kind of average in terms of smell. But it went on really nice. I enjoyed this application a lot better than the Pure Royal application. So if I open this up, um, nothing's going to drip out. It has a much more pastier consistency. So it didn't glide on my hair like the Moisture Factory one. As I said, more pasty. Therefore, shingling wasn't as easier. My fingers weren't gliding. And I also found as a result, I used more product when it came to Pure Royal simply because it didn't have that slip. I'm also going to put the price in the description box down below. This one is the Pure Royal one, I think is cheaper than the Moisture Factory one. In terms of size, let's see how much of product is in each. So both of them are 250 milliliters, so exactly the same size. As I said earlier, both are not Curly Girl approved. When it comes to the results, what I can tell you in the morning, I did refresh my fringe a little, but I didn't refresh any of this because both of them really, for my hair and in my experience, don't really require a lot of refreshing. It's usually just my fringe, no matter what um, products I use because of the way I push it back when I sleep. But the um, Pure Royal side, I didn't even need to refresh my fringe. Like, it held up overnight. This is day two here. Both sides are giving me a lot of definition. My hair is soft, um, so there's hold without the hard crunchiness. Um, as I said, I shingled my hair. When I'm touching my hair like this, guys, I'm finding that the Moisture Factory side feels as though there's more length. Looking at it, you might not be able to see it, but on this side, I'm feeling like it's a little bit more shrinkage. This side, it's more elongated, whereas here, it's kind of stopping a bit um, and giving more of a, a spring back or bounce. If you can see, this is just a little bit more um, elongated. But overall, I like both of these custards. Um, you can see the results. It's winter still in South Africa. Gives my hair a nice shine, a good amount of moisture for a wash and go. There's no crunch. Um, I didn't need to add an oil or anything like that. So overall, I'm always happy with both. But I wanted to do a little bit of a comparison so that I can see side by side. Not much of a difference in terms of results for me. I hope you guys can see it on camera. And as I said, both South African products 
both um, this one you can get online this one I think you can get at Diskim also check online as well I'll put the prices in the description box down below so yeah guys two local brands local custards and I thought I'd just share them with you along with my results I'm gonna wrap this video up here I hope you guys enjoyed this comparison video and as always drop your comments down below if you've tried it what do you think of the results do you see a stock difference that maybe I really can't see so yeah guys we'll talk in the comments and as always you'll see me again take care